Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and giving a video a thumbs up before you leave. You can also turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. We're going to dive right in. I'm quickly going to run the little video of how I store my lipsticks and we'll get started. All right, beauties, hopefully lighting is okay. I do apologize. Um, this is currently, it's my little vanity. This is currently how I keep my lipsticks and my goal is to continue to keep it only this much lipstick. Um, if you've been here for a long time, you know I had way, 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 way more lip products than this. Um, and even this is excessive. So we definitely need to declutter. I keep like balms, lip scrubs, things like that up here. We have like lip treatments and stuff in here, lip treatments. Literally every drawer is about to um, explode. And a ton of these are older product. So my goal, honestly, y'all, is going to be to get rid of pretty much all this. Um, at least 80% is going to be going. Um, and then liquid lipsticks. I very rarely wear them now. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you can see where we're starting at. I want to do this a little different. I'm going to actually sit down and let you guys see my pretty little face. We're going to converse. We're going to talk. We're going to swatch. I'll give you recommendations. Um, yeah, so this is where we're starting at. My goal actually is to have this be like very minimally filled. Um, we'll see if that happens. All right, beauties, I'm going to do this a little different. Um, my prior collection videos that I did before we moved were very rushed, very quick. Um, and I always kind of struggle with, do I do a longer video, a sit down video, a quick video, because different people like different things. Um, but I know that a lot of you also really like an in-depth video where people do swatches and stuff like that in a declutter video. So that is what I'm doing today. We have some makeup wipes for in between. I'm literally just going to take the top part of this thing off first. <laughs> and we're going to go, I guess, from here and we'll go through each drawer. Um, if it is something that I used one time, I tested it, maybe I just, I didn't like it, I didn't like the texture, consistency, whatever, get sanitized, and that goes to friends and family. Um, if it is something that is brand new, I do either sell it on my Mercari or in my Facebook group. If you would like that link, I will try to remember to leave it below, um, if you want to join my Facebook group. If it is something that has changed in flavor, consistency, smell, anything like that, I toss it. Um, and if it's longer, been open longer than, you know, a year-ish, more than that, then definitely it's going to get tossed. My goal here is pretty much to kind of start new. Um, my preferences have changed a lot in my lip product kind of preferences and what I like and dislike now. And a lot of what I have is more like matte liquid lipsticks, which I don't really use all the time now. Um, I also have a ton of products that are just colors and stuff that I maybe don't necessarily use anymore. Um, I don't have any makeup on except for some brow and mascara just so I will look human today. So um, y'all get rosacea re-read today. <laughs> um, she's back in full swing, y'all. It is winter time, so my skin is extra super duper red. Um, but I want to swatch some stuff. Some of it I'll swatch on my lips just to kind of show you the consistency uh, maybe the opacity, and then we'll swatch a bunch of stuff on our hands. So anything that's kind of a standout or anything like that, I would definitely swatch it for you guys. We're going to dive in. This is probably going to be a long one. Like I said, I want to definitely try to cater to multiple people. I've done a lot of short collection videos, so this one's going to be a really kind of more in-depth video. If this gets too long, y'all know what mama says. Get your tacos and your tequila, your milk and your cookies, your Doritos, your Cheetos, your Fritos, look, your gingerbread, your Panatone. Oh my gosh, do you like Panatone? Panatone's fabulous. Fruitcake? No. It's a no for me, dog. But Panatone? Ooh, delicious. Especially the chocolate one. Anyways, grab yourself a snack or two. Grab a drink or two. And let's dive in. Alright, so this whole top layer is more like treatment type things. So I'm quickly going to go through this. Basically, if it's not a love, I'm not keeping it. Um, also, again, if it's been open for quite a bit of time, I'm not going to keep it. So first up is the Juvia's Place, the Nubian Glow Lip Balm. This is in Mango. I've used quite a bit of this and went through a lot of this. These are not my favorite where they kind of squeeze up from here. I genuinely just prefer a doe foot applicator. This is more of an oil kind of texture. I hope I don't squeeze this out everywhere. There you go. This is more of an oil cut type of texture versus a balm. Um, balm for me, I think of as more kind of a solid form. And this, as you can see, is very, very wet. So for me, it's a like. It's okay. Um, but I don't know that I'd repurchase it. It does smell really nice. It looks really pretty and shiny on the lips. I'll put a little bit on. Oh, I can actually kind of smell it. Oh my God. That excites me. Excites me. <laughs> 
Um, so you can see it's wet, like wet, wet. So it doesn't last. It doesn't stay in place. This is fine, um, but there is no staying power here. Like literally within five minutes, this is going to be off. Um, they smell nice though. It's a, it's a take it or leave it type of thing. It's just a like for me. I personally would not repurchase it. Next up is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Gummy Bear. And this one I will say is much, much thicker. Like almost kind of hard to get out of here. This one has a little bit of grip to it. It's slightly thicker than the Juvia's Place one. But still, in my opinion, it is more of like an oil and one that doesn't really stay on the lips and doesn't hydrate as well as you would assume it would hydrate just because it doesn't stay on the lips as long. So you can see it's still very pretty, non-tacky, not sticky at all, feels quite comfortable, but there's not enough for me kind of grip to it, um, meaning it's going to be off your lips in five seconds. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. Um, overall good product. I don't know that I would repurchase this, but the Laneige Sleep Mask for me, just because it's a little bit thicker, is a better product than this one. Next up is the Kapari Lip Glossy. It's kind of that same standard packaging. And this one is another very wet formula, like the Juvia's Place is. This is a little bit of a higher price point than the Juvia's Place is. And you don't get as much kind of shine here. But I will say that I feel like this, it's maybe a little bit more oily. I don't know if that's the right way. It has some viscosity to it, meaning even though it has like a little bit of a slip to it, this one actually, you can feel it on the lips and there's something there and it stays on the lips. Um, so I really, really like this formula. I do feel like it's quite long lasting. So this one I really do highly recommend. Next up, this one is new to me because I just got it in my boxy, ipsy, one of them. Uh, it is the Lasting Smiles Polishing Exfoliating Lip Scrub. Because it is new, I'm going to hold on to it. I really love a lip scrub. I used to literally use a lip scrub every single day because I solely wore matte liquid lipsticks. Um, I still like them and I still use them before filming and stuff like that, but it's not a product that I use every single day. Um, if you are somebody that does have drier lips, more mature lips, you know, lines, things like that, or you do wear matte liquid lipsticks or makeup kind of continuously, like regularly, highly recommend doing a lip scrub. Do the scrub and then put a nice emollient balm or something on top. Perfection. So I'll keep that. Next up is the Burt's Bees Squeezy Tinted Lip Balm in Sweet Peach. I'm also going to hold on to this. And this is one of my favorite little lip balms. This is what it looks like in the tube. They're also quite affordable. And you can see I'm pushing pretty hard to try to get it out. It is incredibly thick, quite balmy, and I love that they have tints. So you can see it gave me just like a little, kind of a milky little wash of color. They do have like a brighter berry shade. They have a ton of these. This feels so nice. It's nice and thin, but it still kind of has that little bit of like a grip to it. So it does stay on the lips a little bit longer than some of the other ones that I've talked about. I really like this, really highly recommend. Next up is the Avant Hyaluronic Velvet Perfecting Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. And that is what it looks like. I did get this in like an Ipsy or a Boxy. I have not opened it or tested it or anything like that. I think because I know I probably have enough lip scrubs and I don't use them daily now, I'll put this in the maybe pile for now, but it's probably going to get decluttered. Next up is the Hanalei Lip Treatment. This is a full size. This one is another one that kind of reminds me more of how like the Burt's Bees one is. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It has a little bit more grip to it and actually stays on the lips. I went through an entire one of these. Because it's new, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my declutter pile. We have enough, y'all. We have enough. Next up is also a new product to me, and I have not tried it yet, is the Sarah Hap Lip Expert, the one... Lux Gloss in Ruby Slip. I've not tested this yet, so I cannot attest to anything. I'm going to keep this just because it's new. Next up is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. And I'm going to hold on to that because I have also not tested that. If you've tested any of these and some of these are your holy grails or standout products to you, please let us know. Next up is a holy grail. I love this product so, so much. It is the Item Beauty. I'm trying to remember exactly what they're called. The Lip Quip Lip Oil. This is the shade come through. As you can see, I've used a ton of it. I love the component. I love how humongous the doe foot applicator is. These smell incredible. They look and feel incredible. And this is one, unlike the Juvia's Place one, which is not a bad product, it gives you this beautiful, intense high shine, but there's some weight to it. There's some, some grip to it. I love these. 
absolutely love these. Next up is the Kinship Super Melt Vegan Lip Jelly Mask. Another standout. This is another one that is nice and thick, like very, very thick. And I think especially for winter months, it is going to be phenomenal. I absolutely love this. It's also one that I like to wear, wear and use overnight. Um, highly, highly recommend. This is a love for sure. Next up, we have this little basic beauty. It is the Summer Lit Ole. I don't even think I've used this, but I do think that I have too much right now, and I'm going to go ahead and declutter that as well. Next up, we have this Jules Smith Beauty Lit Ole. This is also sealed, so we will declutter that one. Next up is this little mini of the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm. This is in the shade Thank You. This is also a really beautiful formula, but these are a really nice consistency. They give you a little pretty flush of color without being too much. I don't feel like they're super, super long lasting on the lips, but the texture is really lovely. I love that little flush of color, so highly recommend. I am going to go ahead and declutter this, though, because I know it's getting older. Next up is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. I've also not used this, so we're going to declutter. Next, we have the Skin and Tonic London Lemon Lip Balm. This is also new, so I will declutter. Next is one that I've actually been using pretty recently every time I film, and it is the uh, Nude Nova by Make Los Angeles. It is their serum balm. I love the component. I think it is absolutely freaking stunning. Massive doe foot applicator. Let me wipe some of this off. <laughs> and this gives, again, a little flush of color. And it has that little bit of like kind of thickness to it or a little bit of grippiness to it. I feel like it's long lasting. It's not sticky or tacky. I love the weight of this. I love the component. I love everything about it. Definitely highly recommend. Next, we have our Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balms. I've actually panned one complete one. And I absolutely love, 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 love these, you guys. Here's what the doe foot applicator looks like. And these, they're going to give you like a little sheer tint, a little wash of color. These are great for daytime or wearing them to bed overnight. They're another one that has a little bit of like texture to it or a little bit of grip to it. Um, I swear by these. I think they're absolutely stunning. So we're definitely going to keep these. Next up is the Mario, um, the Apricot Glow Plumping Lip Serum. These do not plump. I'm going to show you how this looks though because they're beautiful. They're stunning. And I don't know maybe if some brands are kind of coining things plumping because it gives you the appearance of a plumper lip. I'm not quite sure, but I really like the component. It has like that soft matte touch to it. That is what the shade looks like. And a little tiny bit goes a very, very, very long way with this, as I discovered when I first tried it. And if you click it up, you cannot click it back down. So just to note that. So you can see it has like a beautiful wash to it. I don't feel like you get a whole lot of shine. There's some weight to it. Um, not sticky or anything like that, but some grit. But I don't feel like they're moisturizing. They don't plump and they don't stay on the lips very long. So... That one's got to go to. Next up, we have a full size of the Rare Beauty Lip Balm. Kind of the same thing. This is in the shade um, Praise. I am also going to go ahead and declutter this just because I know I've had it for a while. Next up, we have the Bally Balm Pineapple Lip Scrub. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. I don't want to keep too many scrubs just because I don't use them as frequently as I once did. Next is a Lawless Hydrating, Plumping, and Smoothing. This is the Sweet Dreams, forget the filler, Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. I think because I have enough and this is new, I'm also going to declutter this. I also have the Sarah Hap, the Lip Slip One Lux Lip Balm. I actually really want to try this. I've heard great things about the Sarah Hap lip products, so I do want to test that out. Next up, I have the Kinder Beauty Kinder Lip Mask, Hydrating Lip Mask. I feel like we have enough, so I'm going to declutter that as well. And last for our little top tray is the Sarah Hap, the Lip Scrub Exfoliator in Brown Sugar. So now that I know I'm keeping this, I think I'm confident getting rid of the other ones. I'm going to grab the drawers really quick. I will BRB. All right, beauties, we are diving into these two little drawers here. I'm going to try to speed things up because we have a lot to get through. Um, I wanted this to be long and in-depth, but uh, maybe it's going to be too long. I'm really sorry, y'all. All right, first up on top is something I'm dying to try. It is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Lip Gloss. I'm definitely going to keep that because it's new and, well, I want to try it. Next is the Walita Skin Food Lip Butter. This actually says it expires in January 2023. So even though it's still brand new and I actually really wanted to try this, obviously if I haven't tried it in a year, I'm not going to. So I'm going to toss this. Next up is a Sugar Bunny Heavenly Lip Scrub. We have enough. I'm going to go ahead and declutter. 
Next, I have the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper in Spicy Mauve, also new, will declutter. Next up, um, I've had this since way, way, way before they ever even got popular. It is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I still have yet to try them. It is in the shade Grapefruit, so I'm definitely going to keep it because I want to try it. Next is the Tanais Lip, oh, I believe, um, I actually don't know. But it is this little thing that I got in, I think, a BoxyCharm or something. And I really, really liked this. I didn't think I was going to because it has some shimmer in it. But it is such a beautiful color. And I don't feel the shimmers in it. And it feels quite weightless and quite comfortable on the lips. And I just think it's so, so pretty. So definitely going to hold on to that. I think it's stunning. Next is the Clinique um, Black Honey Triple Lip Balm or Lip Balm. That is what it looks like, and that is what it looks like. You don't really get much with this, like basically next to nothing. Um, I don't actually like this. I don't like the texture of it. I feel like it's got like a, maybe like a graininess or something to it. I don't know exactly what it is, but I don't like it, so we're going to toss that. <laughs> then um, a bunch of these are all just lip scrubs. I have the NCLA Beauty Sugar Sugar All Natural Lip Scrub. Going to declutter. We have the Honey Jarrett Lip Sleeping Mask in Lemon and Honey. Definitely going to keep this because if you know, you know, Lemon and Honey, two of my favorite things. Yes, please. Next up is the Sephora Coconut Lip Balm that is still sealed. I'll go ahead and pass it along. We have a Merit Lip Oil. Um, I believe they're lip oils. I should have worn my glasses, y'all. I'm so sorry. It is in the shade Marrakesh. Yes, it says Tinted Lip Oil. Let me get another wipe. And thank y'all. Thank y'all for bearing with me. Thank y'all for... Letting me know, like, hey, we want to see longer videos. I appreciate that. I really love, I, I hate short form content, just FYI. I love the kind of one-on-one -on -one thing when you're doing longer form content. I feel like they're more personable. I feel like you get to kind of open up, you know, as a creator, but as somebody that watches, I love that too. Um, first of all, I really like the doe foot applicator on here. Sorry if you hear my dog. I love the shade of this. It is stunning. And this to me is more of a lip gloss than it is a lip oil. I don't know if you can kind of really tell that. It's not super, super wet and super slippy the way that most lip oils are. Um, but I really love the texture of this. They stay on. There's a little bit of grip to them. I really like it. If you're looking for something that's super high shine, this ain't it. Um, but I really like the flush of color. It wears well. So I think it's beautiful. Next up is the Fresh Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. Brand new. Never used it. We don't need it. We're going to take it and put it to the side. Um, we have another... <laughs> Why do I have two of these? Hold, please. I didn't realize this was a set. I might actually keep this. I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy or ipsy. It's the NCLA Beauty Balm Babe Natural Lip Balm. So you have the scrub and the balm. I'll put these in the maybe pile. I thought I was on a roll, y'all. I thought I was. Um, next up is the Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Scrub. Also brand new. Going to go ahead and pass it along. We also have the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm in Watermelon. It is brand new. Holy Grail product. I already used a full one. It is nice and thick and rich and very intense, kind of like the way that the Burt's Bees one is. Lasts a long time. Feels hydrating. It doesn't kind of wither away and disappear in five seconds. Um, love. Highly recommend. Very, very thick. It's almost more like um, petroleum jelly-ish, Vaseline-ish, like that kind of thick, you know, kind of emollient texture. Love this. If you've tried this, comment down below. Y'all, that was it for the two drawers. We're moving, y'all. We're moving into grooving. This is going to be, oh lord, <laughs> this is going to be a long video. I'm nervous. I'm nervous as hell. I always get scared making too long of a content. Always. All right, this one is, should be mostly glosses and like standard lipsticks. Um, that's a lot to go through. First and foremost, um, I no longer support this brand, have not for years. I only kept them because genuinely it is a good formula and I really did like it, but I am going to go ahead and pass these along just because I don't need them and we have plenty. Next up is the Dragon Beauty Dragon Glass Gloss. Woo! In the shade Crystal. It is my second one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and toss the one that's been open for a little while. Just because I've mixed it with other lip products so it's not clear anymore. This is one that you can see is incredibly shiny. It is super, super beautiful, but it doesn't have any tackiness, anything like that. Um, of course, it's not going to be as long lasting. It's not a matte liquid lipstick. It's not a standard lipstick. They're not going to last forever, but highly, highly recommend. I think it is absolutely stunning. So definitely going to keep the new one and we'll toss this one. 
Next up is the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. Um, I used this with you guys a little while back, um, and it's really, really nice. It's got that kind of really soft, velvety, whipped type of texture to it. Y'all, I think my sense of smell might be starting to come back, possibly. Because this smells sweet to me. Chocolatey, maybe? I'm not sure. That excites me. <laughs> Alright, dreadful application. You get, you get the point. Love the color. They dry down very soft. They're not over drying or anything like that. They don't feel heavy on the lips. And even though they're matte, that is dreadful application. Even though they're matte, they're not like so matte that they feel tight and cracky and stuff. Kind of like old school ones, like a lot of the ones I still have that I was obsessed with two years ago. Um, I like this and this is at like a $5 price point and they have a thousand different colors. Long lasting, doesn't break down super easy. Love this, obsessed with this. It is a beautiful product. Next up is another favorite. It is from Item Beauty. It is the Ruled by Lip Gloss in the shade Moon. Love the component, love the doe foot applicator. Um, non-sticky, non-tacky. They're really, really good formula. Um, and most of this, you guys, 90%, I just want to say this, 90% pretty much of what I have has come from subscription boxes and then shopping like the Ipsy add-ons, boxy, you know, sales and stuff like that. Um, I don't spend a lot of money on my makeup. Next up is the Eye Method Beauty um, Little Plumping Gloss. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this just because you guys know I'm not super into like glittery type of formulas. Um, but I did really like it and it is a good product. Next up is the Lunar Beauty Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Divine. Even though this does have some small glitters in it, I don't feel like you see them a whole lot on the lips. Let me try not to mess up my applicator as I did. But as a really good slip to it. And it's nice and pretty and shiny, but you don't really kind of see the glitter in there or feel the glitter. It's more like just reflective. Really beautiful. Everything I've ever tried from Lunar Beauty has been a win thus far for me, honey. Next up is this JD Glow Watermelon Lip Gloss. I'm going to go ahead and declutter this just for the sole reason that I don't really use it. And it is slightly more tacky than some of the other ones that I have. Um, I'm somebody that does not like anything that feels sticky. If it feels sticky at all on my lips, like them damn Colourpop glosses that people talk about all the time. No. Absolutely not. Moving along. <laughs> Next up is the September Rose Cosmetics Clear Lip Gloss. I think because I have the Dragon Beauty, we definitely don't need this one. Next up is a This Is Milky Gloss from NYX. This is in Milk and Honey. It's still sealed. And I can already say, just from my preferences, I feel like it's going to be too milky and too light. And I'm not going to like it, so declutter. Next up is the Gourmand Girls Churro Liquid Lipstick. I'm only going to declutter this because I love her standard bullet lipsticks better and I'm not really wearing matte lipsticks anymore. Next up, we have a couple of Persona glosses. I've used one and not used the other one and they're just okay. I feel like they have a little bit of like stickiness or maybe a little bit too much grip for my own personal liking. Um, I think they're really beautiful though, but they, I can deal without them. Next up, we have the ColourPop Lux. I don't even know what these are called. I think they're glosses. I have the shade Casual Dress and Can You Even. I'm going to go ahead and toss both of these. I really like their shade range with these. Um, these may not be the gloss. I actually think these are like their Velvet Touch ones. Um, but very comfortable on the lips. I really like, yeah, these are the Velvet ones. Um, these are really, really comfortable. These remind me of the Smooth Whip by NYX, that same exact type of texture. It's a really soft kind of whipped type of feeling, but I've had these for a while. We're going to go ahead and toss. I have this NYX Juicy Secret Lip Gloss. We'll go ahead and keep. I have a couple of the Rebel Rouge Labs Color Changing Lip Balms. I have the green and the yellow. I'm pretty sure they both do the same exact thing. Um, the yellow one is the only one that I've used thus far. I will show it to you really quick. All right. I will say these feel incredible. They're they're very like nostalgic and reminiscent of like the 90s to me. I hate, hate pink lipstick on me. Um, I do not like pink at all. Like even like a more nudie, like naturally type pink, it has to be a very specific shade for me. So I don't like the color of this per se on me. But I will say that if you're looking for an inexpensive balm, you want to support a woman-owned brand, an indie brand, and you like pink, I don't think you'd be disappointed. This shit is bulletproof. It ain't coming off. It ain't coming off until you want it to come off. The way that I've been wearing this is I will put this on and then I'll go in with the Item Beauty or the Dragon Beauty Gloss. And I will top it with one of these just so it's not so pink and so intense because again I don't like pink 
like not like that and pink is my favorite color pink and yellow are my favorite colors I just don't like pink makeup on me um, and I think a lot of it is especially when I'm having a bad you know re re rosation day it just y'all hmm. that's all I'm saying <laughs> Next up is this Jouer Little Lip Topper. This is in the shade Skinny Dip. They also have a highlighter of this same shade. I love this, but I only use it for like holiday just because y'all know I'm not into like glitter glosses and stuff like that, but I am gonna hold on to it. Next up is this Clinique. This is the Black Cherry in like their actual balm balm. I don't feel like I get much from this and I don't like this product. Well, <laughs> I think I messed up by uh, swatching that for y'all. okay well we're gonna have some pink on our lips that's okay but I feel like you have to like really really get in there I mean I'm going y'all I'm, I'm going in I'm going to town y'all and there's nothing it's like literally the most faint and that's fine I don't mind just a kiss of color or a flush of color but for this to be so damn hyped up I mean even like a couple years ago these were very very hyped up for what I don't understand. That's going. Next up, we have another Holy Grail. Love these. It is the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. This is in the shade Amber. These are fantastic. I love the component. I love how much comes off on the doe foot applicator. It has a beautiful big doe, doe foot applicator. They have a little bit of shine, but they also have some weight to them. They also have some grip to them. So they're not off your lips in like 4.5 seconds. They don't feel sticky, thick, tacky. These are fantastic. They they killed it with these. Next up, I have a couple of the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Creams. I really did enjoy these, and I really like that they're a little bit on the thicker side, so they have a little bit more grip to them. Um, I'll just top it with this. <laughs> I love the color of these. I love the shine of these. As you can see, super duper shiny. I love the tone, but I've had them for a couple of years and I'm really trying to get rid of things that I have not touched and that I don't use consistently. But I think they're a beautiful product. I also think they're a little bit more long lasting than some of the other products that we have. We're done with that drawer, y'all. We're moving on. I'll be right back. All right, beauties, we are moving on to the next drawer. And I decided to keep this one of the Gloss Balm Creams. Um, this shade doesn't really look the best on me, but I really like the shade of this, putting it on for y'all just now. So I'm going to keep it just for a little while longer. Um, it's that good. They're really good. All right. This one is mostly mattes. I think all of them are mattes, maybe except for a few. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of every single one. So, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Um, first up is my Cab Beauty Lip Oil. This is the Lemon. I use this every single night. I keep one in my nightstand. I use it all the time. I sleep with them every night. I've almost emptied the other one, so I definitely had to get a backup. Fantastic. Phenomenal. I don't want to open it up, but... I've demoed this for you guys. I've talked about it multiple times since getting it in my Ipsy Glam bag. It is incredible. It's intense hydration. It's quite nourishing. I go to bed overnight. My lips feel great in the morning time. The doe foot applicator is huge. It smells phenomenal. It's just, it's just great. It's just great. It's wonderful. Next up is the Nomad Cosmetics, the Fete de Provence. This is their lip gloss. They just launched lip glosses when they launched this um, particular collaboration. The only reason I'm going to get rid of this, you guys, I only used it one time to demo it with you guys, is again, I'm just, I'm not into this type of gloss where it has glitter and shimmer and sparkle and stuff in it. So this one I'm going to sanitize and probably pass along to a friend that I know would love that. Next up is the Clarins, the Velvet Lip Perfector. This is the shade one, one of my all-time Holy Grail favorite products ever, ever, ever. I do have a backup of it. I'm going to keep my backup. I will show it to you guys. This very much feels like the NYX Smooth Whip where it has that beautiful kind of velvety whipped type of texture to it or kind of like how the ColourPop ones are. Um, you can see I've used the absolute heck out of this. First of all, the tone of this is stunning. I love the component. I love how it comes out. And it's just, it's so incredibly comfortable on the lips. It lasts a long time. It doesn't dehydrate the lips or anything. It's beautiful. This is an absolutely stunning formula. I cannot even begin to tell you how just soft and light and comfortable this feels on the lips. I had gotten a berry shade of this in a boxy charm a couple years ago, and I was hooked after that. Highly, highly recommend. Next up, I have two lipsticks from Gourmand Girls. I have Pumpkin and I have Nikki's Nude. I have used Nikki's Nude over and over and over and over again. I absolutely love her formula. They have a very soft, pretty, like vanilla scent to them. They go on so beautifully and so comfortably. 
They have a beautiful level of opacity to them. They're more of a matte lipstick, but it's more like a semi or demi matte. They're not gonna kind of emphasize texture or anything like that. They wear beautifully. She has a new collection with Clara. I love you, Clara. I will link Clara down below as well as Gourmand Girls. And you can use code RERE10 for 10% off. That is affiliated, so if you do use that, I really appreciate it. Um, and any other brand that I do have a discount code or affiliate code with, I will link it down below for you guys. Um, I love her stuff and I want to get a couple from the Clara collection because they're beautiful. Um, yeah, I love her formula, so definitely going to hold on to these. Next up is another Holy Grail formula. It is the NARS, the Power Matte Lip Pigment. This is Get It On. I really love the shade American Woman as well. This is another one that I got one in a boxy charm and fell in love with it. And this is also one of those that has that beautiful kind of like slip to it, like an oily slip to it. I'm just going to put on top of this just so you can see the color. But it kind of has that really pretty oily slip to it. They're a very comfortable matte on the lips, um, and I'm not going to keep a whole lot of mattes just because I know I don't use them very often, but that one is so damn gorgeous, you guys. Um, very comfortable, very long-lasting, but it's a, a little bit of a thinner formula, so it's not weighty. It's not heavy. I I love them. I love them so much. Next up is this House Laboratories Lip Gloss um, in La Riot, no, La Riot Lip Gloss and Glaze. Never used it. I'm not going to keep it. I don't need any more, so we're just going to toss that to the side. Next up is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick um, in the shade Caramel Apple. I used to love these. I used to swear by these. This and a couple of the other ones you'll see were like my all-time favorite brands. I just don't use liquid lipsticks very often anymore. I will swatch it just so you can kind of see what it looks like. These also smell really, really nice. They also have that kind of soft, a little bit of like an oily slip upon first application. I feel like they're very opaque. They dry down pretty quickly. I really like it but we have too much and I don't need it. Next up is this little Bite Beauty Lip Stain. I will keep this. It's more of like a balm. Um, it is a bright orange, so I'm really excited to use that in the summertime. Next up is another one of my favorite liquid lipstick brands, and that is Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, I've actually panned a few of her lipsticks. I really, really love them. They also have that pretty kind of like oily slip to them. I love the doe foot applicators. I love, 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 love the colors of her lipsticks. Um, they wear really well. They're also one that kind of dries down, but they're not overly drying. Now, speaking in terms of matte liquid lipsticks, they're going to be dry, y'all. They're going to dry down. Um, but I feel like if you use a lip scrub and you keep your lips hydrated and stuff like that prior to using one, I think you'll really enjoy these. They smell like sweet tarts or something. The component is beautiful. I may keep this one. I don't know. We'll see how many I keep because I have so many nudes. It is crazy. I have a couple more of the Too Faced Melted Mattes. These are from like the holiday collection last year. That is Sugar Cookie and I also have Pumpkin Spice. We're going to go ahead and declutter those. And then I have a bunch of just different nude variations of Lime Crime lipstick. They are, have been, always were my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks, but they're honestly the same formula as like Dose of Colors. They're the same as the NARS, they're the same as the Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, just for the sole purpose of I don't use liquid lipsticks hardly ever at all anymore, I'm going to take and just toss all of these. I will go ahead and swatch them for you though. These are all just various shades of nudes. Um, that's kind of always been my go-to to do just a liner and then do a nude lipstick. Um, I don't typically do that now. I'm more of just like put a gloss on, put a lip oil, put a lip treatment or a balm, and then really kind of emphasize the eyes. Um, but this has such a beautiful formula. They have 6,000 different shades. Um, they last well. The opacity is there. They wear well on the lips. They're not uncomfortable or overly drying or overly heavy. I just, they're, it's a fantastic, fantastic formula. So this right here is the shade Bleached. This is Cindy, but basically that was my go-to for years and years and years. This one is Cindy. This one is Lulu. This one is the shade Buffy. Yeah, if you are looking for a matte liquid lipstick, I, I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed in these. It's a, it's a fantastic formula, for sure. If you're looking for a nude and you're looking for a really good matte liquid lipstick, highly, highly recommend. Um, especially kind of as we're moving in, you know, to the holiday season and stuff like that. Everybody's going to have sales. Literally everybody's going to have sales right now. <laughs> Next up, I have a couple of Huda Beauty lipsticks. We have the Liquid Matte and a Demi Matte. Again, I'm just not using liquid lipsticks right now. Her Liquid Mattes I like better than her Demi Matte. The Demi Matte reminds me of the Maybelline ones that everybody loves that I hate. I cannot stand them. This never dries down. So you always feel it. Like when you go like this, 
and it'll like pull up and it, it, your lips stick to themselves. I don't like that. I know that some people do. That is personal preference, 100%. I don't like that. Like the Maybelline, whatever the heck they are, do not like those at all. 100% hate. Same with this. Her liquid lipstick, it's for me, it's a little bit of a thinner formula, which I like, but I will say as you try to kind of build it up and get more opacity from it, they will start to patch up, which a lot of these will. They're a matte liquid lipstick, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter those as well. I have this one from About Face. It is her matte painted up lip, paint it lip color in Last Good Night. Her formula, I really, really like a lot. It is also one of those kind of more velvety, matte, like very soft whipped textures. I think I'm going to hold on to this one just because it's newer and I really do like the texture and consistency of it. Next up is the Rare Beauty. This is the shade Courage. Um, this was okay. I can take it or leave it. It does have that kind of, again, that soft kind of velvety whipped type of texture. This is a couple years old. It's got to go. Next up, I have this Element Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick. I actually really, really like this. It's this beautiful kind of orangey nude shade. It is also one that has that little bit of a slip to it. It doesn't dry down super, super fast, so you have some time to kind of play with it. I think I am going to keep this just because I want to keep a couple that are a little bit more orangey and more toasty for summertime. Next up is the Rebel Rouge Labs Flesh. This is actually my third or fourth of flesh. But sadly, I'm also going to get rid of this one. I love the shade of this, though. It is one of my all-time favorite nudes. I will say hers is another one that, upon first application, it has that nice kind of soft, oily slip to it. If you do not work fast with these, they're going to patch up on you. And if you try to overlayer them, they're also going to patch up on you. They wear incredibly well. I feel like they're super comfortable on the lips. And she has such amazing colors like these, her eyeliners, everything. I, she's phenomenal. That's all I got to say. Next up is Dose of Colors, another Holy Grail. I really like their doe foot applicator. I just, I happen to like this shape a lot. <laughs> um, these are another one that are super comfortable while applying. I feel like you have a little bit of play time with them. The opacity is there. Again, it's a matte liquid lipstick. If you try to overlayer them or you put a layer and it's not all the way dry, they tend to get a little bit patchy. It's a beautiful texture. They don't feel overly drying or cracky on the lips. Um, and they have like six million different colors. It's a fantastic, fantastic formula. And then last but not least in here is the Kaja Ride or Die little like heart air, heart lip balm thingy-majiggy. I really like the texture of this. I like the consistency of it. There's a little bit of a grip and I do feel like they last a long time on the lips. It is a couple years old though, so I'm also going to, so I'm also going to toss that. Let me grab another drawer. We're almost done y'all. We're almost there. We're almost there. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to stop the video because literally I'm probably going to keep one or two out of this. This is lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks. I literally think I'm going to keep like my favorite favorite and then the rest are going to go. This one right here is the Maybelline, the vinyl Superstay inks. That's what I was trying to think of a minute ago. I hate these. Absolutely freaking hate these. The texture and stuff feels lovely on them. I like the doe foot applicator. The colors and stuff are absolutely stunning. They never dry down. I used this one time and that was enough for me to say no. If you like that though, then you'll like these. They're very opaque. They did last a very long time or it did last a very long time, but I cannot get over the something not completely setting down. I either want a balm or an oil where I actually can feel the slip on my lips or I want, I want it to dry completely down. That kind of mid ground, no thanks. This is the Milani, I can't remember what they're called. Super beautiful. I recently demoed this for you guys. Incredibly comfortable on the lips. They glide so beautifully. Very comfortable. Um, it's a matte, but it's kind of a soft, like satin matte type of formula. Love. I'm going to also keep my little Charlotte Tilbury. This kind of reminds me, it's basically, to, in my opinion, kind of the same as Gourmand Girls. It kind of has that same little bit of a scent to it. And the same thing where it's a matte lipstick, but it has some moisture to it. It's not like super overly drying. Um, I got this from a friend too, and I love the packaging, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of the lippy sticks from ColourPop. This is the shade Sassy. I'm going to get rid of the Jason Wu lipstick. I will say that he has a beautiful formula as well, but I feel like I have enough. This is another one that it's that really soft velvety feeling matte, not super overly drying. It wears well, but we have enough. We have enough. Next up is the late, the shade Ladybug from Mac. I only use this one time. It's actually my first one, my first ever Mac lipstick. And I think I got it in a boxy charm or something like that. Um, and as much as I do really like red, especially for like holiday time, I don't think I'm going to get much use out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that as well. 
Next up, we have the little Tinkerbell and Color Pop. This was the Clap If You Believe lip stain. Just because it's older, we're gonna declutter. Next up, I have an Avon Cashmere Lip Cream. This is also in like a burgundy reddish shade. These are really, really nice. I'm just layering and layering and layering, y'all. <laughs> These are really nice and offer much more opacity. That's a shitty swatch. Um, much more opacity and color than most that I have. It also has a really beautiful kind of velvety finish to it. I just don't, I know I'm not going to use it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that as well. Let me wipe my lips. I'll be RB. We have some ColourPop lipsticks here. We have a Lux Blur lipstick with a glossy lip stain. I have a glossy lip stain and a lip cream. I'm going to go ahead and just declutter all of these. They're all brand new, and if I have not used them by now, I'm most likely not going to. I have this Luminous Satin Lipstick from Propa Beauty. This is in the shade Victress. I actually want to keep this and test it out. I think I'm really going to like that shade. I have the Alme Lip Vibes Never Regret. I guess it's just like a lip balm. Uh, not even sure. It's a matte lipstick. I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. We have the KKW Creme Lipstick in Nude 1. I actually never even tried this. I'm going to pass it along. I got this and I about freaked out on like an Ipsy, I believe, Ipsy Glam Bag X. It's the Pat McGrath Labs lipstick. Um, I don't even know what color this is. In Matte Trance 020, like the packaging and everything is just beautiful. I'm definitely going to keep that and try it. I have a couple of the matte lipsticks from Huda Beauty. I have Interview and Girls Trip. They're just some little minis that I had. Again, I don't wear matte lipsticks very often anymore. I hate getting rid of all these, but again, if it's you know only been used one or two times, I'm trying to make room to pull my drawer out. If it's only been used one or two times, then I sanitize it and then I can just give it away to friends and family. If it is new product, then of course we will try to sell it. This one also, everything in here pretty much is going to go. This is all also liquid lipsticks. There's a lot in here, y'all. Um, I'm going to pick maybe one or two favorites. Everything else has got to go. Um, speaking of red and me talking about reds, I am going to keep both of these. This is the Stila Stay All Day. This is in Besso Shimmer. They have the regular Besso as well that's not got shimmers in it. Um, I've gone through two of these every holiday season, like for, you know, New Year's, Christmas, Christmas Eve, whatever it is. If I'm actually doing a face and I'm wearing a red lipstick, it's this one right here. I love this lipstick. It is the prettiest. Again, sorry about the swatches. <laughs> It is the prettiest kind of like metallic-y foiled type of shade. But just the tone of it, the way that it feels, the way that it wears, it's absolutely stunning. And I don't normally like, you guys know this, I don't like metallic things. I don't like glitters and sparkles and shit like that in my lips. But just the way that it sets down and that beautiful little metallic sheen that it has, stunning. Absolutely stunning. And I just dropped the other one. <laughs> Be right back. They last a long time. I will say that if you do try to build it up on itself because it dries so in so like incredibly fast, it will patch up on you. Um, but I don't feel like it breaks down super easy or anything like that. This one's probably from a couple years ago. I think I'm still going to keep it because I don't want to invest in a red to wear it just a few times. Then this one right here, the Lime Crime one, this is in the shade New Americana. Absolutely stunning. And this one is a very deep very blood red shade. Again, I love the texture of these. I love the consistency of these. They last a long time on the lips. So those two reds I am going to keep. All right, I'm going to go through these. I think honestly, y'all, I'm going to declutter everything that's in here. Um, it's all matte liquid lipsticks and it's a bunch of Lime Crime ones. These are all, again, like I said, I like deep plummy shades and stuff like that going into like fall and winter. I just know I'm not going to get a whole lot of use out of them. And then I have this little Certify. I have a couple from Certify that are more like orangey peachy shades. I've had these for a little while. I will say this formula though is lovely. They're more like stains. And they're incredibly comfortable on the lips. Really long lasting and stuff as well. I just, I know I don't need them and I'm not going to end up using them. We have some more Lime Crime. I have a couple of dose of colors. I may actually keep this date night one. I actually got this a date night, I think, in like a boxy charm years ago. I love the Dofit applicator on these. Perfection, seriously. Oh, so comfortable. So nice. I just want you guys to see it. These are trash, okay? Trash swatches, I know. But they're super comfortable. 
They don't feel heavy or anything on the lips. They wear well. I just, y'all, this is a fantastic formula. I may keep this one too. No, we have two, but that's enough. That's enough, Teresa. This is a Fenty Beauty Sun Lip Paint and Unveil. I know I'm not gonna end up using it. I have an Avon liquid lipstick. I know I'm not gonna use it. I have the Glam Light. This is the Red Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. I also used this a ton last year. I think I may also keep this one. Let me just check the consistency. Just to note to you guys, if anything has changed in its texture, consistency, um, the scent, the way that it feels, if you're kind of trying to put it on and it looks like it's gumming up or looking patchy or flaking, throw it away. It ain't good. <laughs> But this is not my favorite applicator. You guys know I like a more kind of thick doe foot applicator. This is kind of a flat paddle one. It's also very, very bold, very deep, rich blood red, very comfortable on the lips, very long lasting. It also has that little bit of like an oily slip upon first application. You have a few minutes to work with it. And look how pretty my teeth look with this. Just saying. I know there's shit swatches, y'all. Don't come for me. Do not come for my ass. You understand me? Do not come for me. We have a Zoeva Pure Matte Lips Calm Void. Never even used it. It can go. We have a few KBD products. These are like the older Kat Von D products. So they're old, old. Um, I used to love a purple lip. I used to think they were amazing, especially with like a dark smoky eye. I don't need these. We're going to go ahead and also declutter all of those. I have this LaBelle Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vamp Addict. Also like a deep purple like I said, I used to be into those like deep purple grungy shades, you know, deep berries and stuff like that. I just don't use them. Occasionally, if I do use a matte liquid lipstick, it's going to be a nude if I use them now. We have the Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, it's called Absolutely Liquid Lipstick. These are trash. I do not like this. I don't even know why I kept it. I used it twice, demoed it with you guys. These are very thin, which you would think would be a, a good consistency for a lip liquid lipstick, but they're not very opaque. So when you're trying to build them up on top of, you know, build it up on top of itself, it just becomes incredibly dry and patchy and flakes. And they're very, very drying. And this was at the height of me, you know, still being a liquid lipstick lover, not liking glosses. And I hated it. I do not like this. I will sanitize this one though, because I did only use it like one or two times, but it ain't good in my opinion. We have another of the Lime Crime. You see my pattern here, right? <laughs> Then we have another Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. This is a stunning shade. I used this a lot during the summertime. It is this beautiful, brilliant, bright, like orangey, bright orangey shade. Absolutely stunning. Her matte, liquid matte lip, lipsticks are a great formula. I really, really love them. The demi matte ones that don't dry down, that's just personal preference though. Those I don't really care for too much. I may actually keep this because I don't really have another orange lipstick, I don't think. We'll keep that one for now. Next up, I have the Clarins thing that I was telling you guys about earlier, the Velvet Lip Perfector in shade 4. It's been at least two or three years since I got this in my BoxyCharm, so it's got to go. And then I have a ton of Rebel Rouge Labs liquid lipsticks. I'm going to swatch them really quickly on my hand to show them to you. Um, I'm literally going to toss all of them, I think, other than the black one. And maybe right, just because this is a brand new one for me. But you can see she has amazing... She has amazing colors. Like if you're looking for something that you can just do crazy pops of color with, I I swear by her. I absolutely love her. I've literally been with her since the beginning. Um, I'll keep the black. Not that I use black very often, but I would like to keep the black and then I'll keep this one because it's new. So let me swatch these. I'll be RB. All right. There are all of our shades swatched. As you can see, the black, this is the shade Purgatory, you guys. It is literally the darkest, blackest, like the inkiest black I've ever seen in a liquid lipstick or in any lipstick. Um, it's phenomenal. And I love, again, I love her color range. This, again, is one that they're a little bit thinner. So when you try to build them up, they will start to flake off or kind of dry up a little bit. So I always make sure that my lips are exfoliated, make sure that they're hydrated. And then I go in and try to do one fail swoop. Um, but I think I did a good job. I love these. I'm keeping the black. I'll keep the nude. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to attempt to show you guys. This whole Ipsy bag is completely full. And this whole entire box and my whole dresser, vanity, <laughs> is completely full. This is all our declutter pile, you guys. Every bit of that. And all of this is declutter. All of this is declutter. All of this is declutter. I think I did good, you guys. I'm going to try to calculate everything up, tell you where we started, tell you how many we're getting rid of.
I am really proud of myself. Also, have your tastes changed? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Especially as I'm maturing and stuff like that. And of course, I already have dry skin to begin with. Um, matte liquid lipsticks are just not my preference anymore. I may also, I'll kind of pop that up here for you guys. I may also declutter again and get rid of even more than this. Um, I think I've done a fantastic job. I'm really just trying to make sure that I'm only keeping what I know I'm going to utilize and use up and things that I really, really love. Um, of course, a lot of these I love, you know, the Clarins products, the Lime Crime liquid lipsticks, the Dose of Color. They're, I don't really keep a whole lot of what I don't like. Typically, I don't keep something if I don't like it. Like for me to still have the Maybelline product and still have the Jaclyn wherever the freak it went, and to still have like the Jaclyn product, that's typically unheard of for me. The only time I usually will do that is if I'm like, let me try it a, a few times. Um, I typically know for me texturally, the way that things feel and sit on the complexion, on the lips, on the eyes, I typically kind of know if I'm going to like something right off the bat. Um, so that is it. What did you guys think? How do you think I did? I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.